Welcome into ESPN FC's League versus League preview show for Group B. We have with us today Gab Marcotti, Gustavo Hoffman, Sid Lowe, and Where's Wally, also known as Julian Laurent, who's trying to be trendy. This is what we have today. Match day one preview, the Bundesliga select against the Brasilia Real select. That is is Gab Marcotti versus Gustavo Hoffman. And it's followed by our second game on match day one, which is the Ligue 1 select, selected by Julien Laurent, against the La Liga select and Sid Lowe. So we're going to start with Gab Marcotti. As far as your team selection was concerned, Gab, for the Bundesliga, how many really tough decisions did you have about who to put in and who to leave out? Well, obviously, we have a limit of four in the 18. So, inevitably, you're going to come, you're going to decide exactly which Bayern players uh, you're going to you're going to leave out. Um, so, I kind of looked at it, and you know, for me, it's no real issue leaving Thomas Muller out. Uh, there are other people ahead of him. I had to put Niklas Sule in because you know he's a big, tall, good German, um, and. David Alaba, of course, I haven't played center back. So obviously Lewandowski is obviously going to be there. So then it really came down to Kimmich and Jago Alcantara. I opted for, uh, for Joshua Kimmich because of his uh, set piece delivery and his leadership skills. And um, yeah, the other call was home rules, yes or no. And I figured, you know what? If I got, if I got a bit of Alaba in there, and he can also play left back, I'm... Uh, I'm comfortable with that. Okay, Gustavo, for your Brazil Rao select, you're a, a Corinthians fan, I believe. So did you just try and fill your squad with them or how did you go about your selection and what dilemmas did you have? Well, we had some, some problems to choose the players here in Brazil. First, because they don't exist in FIFA 20. So we had to <laughs> have adaptations, you know, to see which is the best player from each club and we say, ah, this one is uh, Rafinha, this one is Felipe Luiz. So this was the first problem. And then we couldn't choose uh, Corinthians players because Corinthians isn't in FIFA 20. So we had some, some tough decisions. But I also had to, choose some, to let some Flamengo players out of the squad. You know, Flamengo is the best team here in Brazil, actually, uh, nowadays. Uh, Flamengo won Copa Libertadores and Brasileirão last year. They have a very, very, very strong team. And I had to, to let Diego Alves, for example, the ex-Valencia goalkeeper, out of the squad. I also had to leave uh, Rodrigo Caio out of the squad, a very good Brazilian defender who plays for the Brazilian national football team. So I think that we have a, a, a very good group of players. Let's see what happens. We have to give kudos to one of our producers, Rob Moore, for putting everything together yeah. from scratch. Because as you said, it was difficult without um, the names and the similarities. At one stage, I was expecting a similar game from the 90s when you had Jobin Dan Rersi as one of your strikers because they didn't have the rights. Next up, Julien Laurent, your league uh, select, surely full of PSG players. Or have you got any surprises for us? I mean, there's so much talent in that league that it was really, really hard for me to uh, to pick my uh, my starting eleven, my 23-man squad. There's uh, four PSG players, obviously. Neymar and Mbappe had to be there, and then I went for Bernat a left back because there's no other decent left back in Ligue 1, so I had to sacrifice <laughs> one of my PSG pick, and then Marquinhos <laughs> would be my captain at the back. Uh, a lot of Monaco players, like Kwisan Benye there, who's quite slow but not in the game too much so I put him in the team as well uh, Jason Martins who is very quick like in real life but also in the game but not very intelligent like in real life as well and also in the game but just for the pace I put him in the team uh, Bakayoko the, the good one the one from before so a mix of PSG Monaco and a bit of Lyon as well they've got a lot of talent in the team so uh, a good balanced team Sid Lowe, before we get to your team, uh, can we get a comment, please, on the sartorial elegance of a young, trendy Felix Magat lookalike Julien Laurent? George, George Club. You... I'm George Club. I mean, honestly, you didn't even need to ask me that because I was just staring at that cap <laughs> and thinking, you, you need to mold that a little bit more around your head. At the moment, it's, 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 it sort of looks like the... a 
It's the idea. That, uh, it's obviously the style. Yeah, it's Paris fashion. It's. It, I it, mean, it, imagine it, if I was biased and was wearing as a manager of my league a T-shirt of the club I actually have shares in, and I, I, I clearly support. Mm. You know, that would be that would be unprofessional, I guess. It would be very unprofessional. That said, you know. <laughs> I mean, I just you're just looking at the hat. It's it's, it's enough for me. I, I think Jules should be allowed to win just by just by virtue of wearing the hat. I hadn't realised that we were supposed to turn <laughs> up you, in managerial in managerial gear, um, Thank which, you, which obviously is a, a significant advantage that Jules has got. My team, by the way, is uh, I yeah. feel like at least we seem to have stuck to the four player rule. There was there was a, a, a rumour later on in this in this kind of whole setup um, kind of process where it seemed that some leagues were being allowed to choose seven players from each squad. Which just makes it far too easy. I mean, in Jules's case, and we all know that league, we all know that league on is a complete <laughs> and utter so joke. Bad. We all know that if you're doing the league on team, you, you don't need to pick any players. You go up Paris Saint Germain, then, and we'll, we'll, we'll walk the league, and then we'll blow it in the Champions League. I deny, I deny any any implication in that change of rules at the last minute. I would blame Marcotti. <laughs> always play Marcotti. I, I think that's the rules anyway, isn't it? I actually, I actually filed an official protest about that because <laughs> I went through such trouble to go and, and sort of extend things out so I could have people like Zakaria. And of course, I had to have my main man, Bas Dost, in there. Um, and then all of a sudden, I saw this, 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 this little coup attempt of some whingy, whiny minor league saying, oh, no, we need to have seven, which is stupid because you still can only have four in the match day squad. So you're just picking dudes to go and sit in the stands. Very, yeah. very unprofessional. I'm with although, you, Sid. Although, in, 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 fair, in fairness, Gab, there are a lot of clubs in Europe that basically do this. They just pick dudes to go and sit in the stands. <laughs> <laughs> so we, have, so demand, for example. We, we have a big issue here, boys, because three of the four of you have, have kept within the rules. You have picked a jersey for your select from that league and from that country. Gab Marcotti, the Bundesliga jersey, was it Stuttgart, whatever that is? No, it wasn't. Was it anybody from Germany? No, it wasn't. Your Bundesliga select is playing in Kaiser Chiefs jerseys. What on earth? Okay, so first of all, as you probably gather, I am not actually German. And so <laughs> I have to go and represent the um, – I lived there many, many years ago. I have to go and represent uh, the Bundesliga. But, you know, when it comes to style and fashion – they're not exactly iconic to me. So other than getting another boring Adidas yuck uh, fest, I said, hey, let's go for a jersey that looks cool. And I thought the Kaiser Chiefs jersey looks cool. The, the Pescara jersey, unfortunately, the new one, the one designed by the kid with a dolphin, is not available in the game. I would have chosen that one. Um, so, yeah, the Kaiser Chiefs one is pretty cool, isn't it? Well, yeah, if it was a South African team that you were managing, but it's not. <laughs> we have another issue with a jersey. Gustavo, um, what's happened with your jerseys? Because you <laughs> told our producer you wanted Brazilian national team jerseys, and you were told you had to have club jerseys. So you've clearly gone for Corinthians, right? <laughs> maybe, maybe. No, but if I knew the Marcotte decision, I could play with the Orlando Pirates shirt. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that. So oh, we could have all done this. We could have had yeah. four South African teams. Everyone would have been happy. <laughs> You've well, gone Gremio, Gus, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. No, I, uh, I, I asked it for the computer to choose. The computer also known as Rob Moore. And they, and then <laughs> they decided to choose for Gremio. Well, I, I like the Gremio t-shirt. So that's a nice choice. Julian, I'm going to go to you next simply because I want to leave Sid till last year because it is the best jersey, Sid. We'll get to you in a second. Um, oh, surprise, surprise, Paul Le Guin. You've gone for PSG jerseys for your team. Uh, I mean, I, I think if I, didn't, if I hadn't chosen this one, I would have never been allowed back either at the Parc des Princes or in Paris full stop at the Eurostar. They would have checked me out uh, before <laughs> we get there. So I, I had to go for, for this one. And it's, it's going to bring us good luck. Said Lowe, take the floor. Talk to me about your wonderful jersey for your La Liga Select. Well, I mean, it was obvious, wasn't it? It had to be the Real Oviedo shirt. And, and, and this, this also has the added advantage, a little bit, in fairness, a little bit like Gab's choice. It has the advantage of not discriminating against any of my players. <laughs> These are all first division players. <laughs> take a second division jersey, which, by the way, is a lovely shirt this year. It doesn't have a sponsor, which makes it even smarter. Mm. And none of those players will feel left out. And also, I'd like to think that Santi Cazola, who's quite possibly the loveliest man on the planet, will feel slightly embraced by this shirt. Real Oviedo jerseys. 
Is Santi Cazorla in your team, Sid? Oh, 100%. <laughs> All right, that's what we want to hear. Cazorla's We're, not just in the squad, he's in the starting 11. <laughs> I want Cazorla, I, I want Joaquin, I want all those guys. I we are going to end. Order, order. I've always wanted to do that. Order. Uh, we're going to end by previewing match day one. Okay, Gab against Gustavo. Gab, have you got the easiest match up first? <laughs> No disrespect, but you know what? We're German. We like to be confident. Um, I won't bring up the the Minerazzo or the Seven One or anything like yeah, that. I'm not going to go and mess mess with you. I was there too. I know. I, it reminded me of Elizabeth Kubler Ross and the five stages of grief. But look, oh. secretly, I'm Italian, right? So I drew got no joy from watching Germany score seven. But uh, no, yeah, obviously, we're not going to hide from the fact that. I think we're clear favorites um, in, in this game and probably clear favorites in the group. Ooh. And just for, for voodoo purposes and to mess with Sid's head, <laughs> I found, and I, I, I know Sid loves tat from club shops, okay? Oh, so I, I do. Bugs. You can appreciate not, not, this. Not, not, not all uh, it's not that again. It's not that again. I got to bring this up oh again. It's an oldie but a goodie. Look, you see this? So this what looks like a really cute, right? It's a cute Real Madrid thing, but look, look That's how creepy not this cute. is. Gab, 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 first things first. That is not cute. That is no, sinister. No. <laughs> but uh, look, oh, look it's, now it's going to get really sinister. <laughs> look at his legs. He's got human <laughs> legs. This is some weird, monstrous Dr. Frankenstein, which when you think about it, is a perfect allegory for La Liga. And that is why, <laughs> that is why when the Bundesliga, with a 50 plus one, with its down-home values, once we make mincemeat of the Brazilian league, no disrespect, Gustavo, <laughs> once we stomp all over the French, we're coming for you, and you'll be done. Gus, you've got South African opposition first up. Kaiser Chiefs. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> and I see that we have some good rivals here, with Julian, with Marcotti, with Did. So I can, I can make my game with them fighting for the first place. Let's see what happens. Let's see. I, uh, my team is going to play in the counter attack. So uh, I won't use the underdog speech, but I have to, to know very well my team. We have some very, very good players who still play here or who are a little bit older. But, well, I think that we have a chance. We end with the match of the match day one. The, the biggest match so far. Sid against Julian. It's Ligue 1 taking on La Liga. Is this the two best teams in the group, boys? Is it? Yeah, I think it probably is, although, yeah, although Gab's going to disagree. I, I, I'm, I'm a little bit worried now, though. I wasn't worried before, but I'm worried now because I've been threatened with a cuddly toy. And, and, and you know, <laughs> I, I, yeah, I, I'm, I don't know what to do. I'm not sure if I want to come back. I mean, I think the risk of playing these games is too great because something really awful might happen to that slightly sinister bear. I, I'm almost ready to forfeit this competition now. I might let Jules win this first game solely to set him up well for his contest with the Germans, now knowing that I don't... Well, I say the Germans, obviously, they're South Africans, really. I don't take them on. <laughs> I, just, I just don't know what to do. Look, in terms of the level of the teams... I don't know, actually. I, mean, I genuinely don't know if, uh, if, if Spain, Germany, France... I mean, no, I'm not getting cocky here and, <laughs> and ruling out Brazil. But if Spain, Germany and France, who's, who's top of that? I, I think they're, they're going to be pretty strong. And probably in the other group, we, we, we will anticipate. And we, the, the, the Premier League team is going to be the strongest. We'll soon find out. Match day one mm -hmm. ahead of us. For Sid, for Gab, for Gustavo... And for who do you want to be? Do you want to be Harry George. Potter? Yeah, George you can be Club. George. George, George Glue. Uh, good luck, <laughs> boys. I shall be commentating throughout these games, and hopefully, I will see one of you in the final. Good luck. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.